tonight. Neighbors and pitcher are obviously dealing with a lot of pain. Latoya Silman has been up there in Ottawa County all day long. Latoya, what's the latest for us? Well, certainly the whole town is just devastated. Only had about 200 to 300 people there, and most of them were injured in this storm. Now, we drove through one damaged neighborhood earlier today. Everywhere you look, you see a piece of what used to be someone's home. Rooftops were toppled. In some places, there was simply nothing left. The storm was so powerful that the bark was peeled off of tree limbs, but the damage to homes isn't anything compared to the loss of life. Emergency management says that uh, there were at least three of the dead were all riding in the same car together, and they found them near Lagoon. That's not too far from where I am standing right now. In fact, News on 6 uh, reporter Ashley Sims was able to talk to the lone survivor. Ashley, tell us about that powerful story. Well, emergency man management officials, Latoya, say that it was a 13-year-old girl that survived that accident. She was actually found by a pitcher father who had his own harrowing tale of riding out the storm. Ralph Morris was sleeping in this room when the storm blew through his neighborhood. I looked out the bedroom window and couldn't see it. It was just too big. The interior bathroom where Morris, his wife, and two children ended up is practically the only place with three walls still standing. I actually laid over my wife and two kids and watched it, watched the roof come off. The house was battered and broken, but enough shelter for his family to make it out alive. That's when the Morrises met another survivor. She came walking across the yard. She was, she was, she was hurt pretty bad. Emergency management officials say this car was full of people when the storm hit. It ended up in this lagoon, a 13-year-old tossed from the car. She kept saying that she was just riding around with her sisters and her uncle in the car, and next thing she knew, she was waking up on the ground. Moore says she was in shock, covered in cuts and bruises. That's when he went looking for her family, but no one else survived. This is when I discovered, you know, the first one, and uh, I found another one that was floating in the, the actual lagoon, so this is a... Uh, definitely taking its toll on a small town boy. So, but. The man who's lived here all of his life can take comfort in just one thing. The house can be replaced. I'm just thankful that, that my wife and my two kids were, you know, they were safe and we made it through it. Three other women were killed in this tornado, including a mother, Latoya. Her baby was actually injured. They were able to rush him to a Tulsa hospital. No word on their condition tonight. Okay, thank you so much, Ashley. You just certainly hate to hear stories like that. And that's just part of the